Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. My name is Rick with Let's Level Up, and we are hunting Shriffid. <laughs> oh, I missed. Um, we are checking out the Elder Scrolls Online. We, In our previous video, we created a character. He's a wood elf, and um, we're going to make him kind of sneaky and whatnot. So uh, we are kind of going through and playing the game, and hopefully we're going to get some bad guys here under our belt. Get out of here. Alright, two shots. Took the skeleton out. He's got a gold. We're going to go ahead and loot him. Looting system works a lot like other MMOs. You can right-click on him. You can hold E, and you will inspect the body, and then there you can pick whatever loot that he has on them. Um, there's a lot of soul shrivens laying around, or running around here. We're all basically making a break for the exits as much as we can. We are in the plane of oblivion. That's where this game starts out. And uh, essentially, the longer we stay in this plane, the more, um, the worse off things get for us. We, we start to basically lose our minds. We don't have any sort of soul or anything like that, which is interesting. Um, it's disconnected from our body, or I guess you could argue that we are our soul right now. Um, but the longer that we stay here, the, the gnarlier things get. We are going to skip through these choices because I feel like it's better if you guys experience those for yourself um, and I've already kind of gone through them um, so there it is so there is Lyra we're gonna use her and we're gonna go try to break out the prophet that we saw in the first video so here we go here's the ashen mines this is a pretty open setting here that, um, that we have Okay. Okay, Prophet, I believe you. I believe you. Okay. Man, I love all the lighting effects in this cave. It's just so cool. Okay, looks like that guy took out a skeleton for us. Now, one thing I will say is so this being a, just a hugely popular MMO, a lot of the monsters get killed before you even get there. Um, and so, I mean, this is the kind of tutorial zone. This is where you're going to be learning things. So, I mean, that makes sense. Um, and you know what? I actually think we leveled up, and I didn't actually put my points in. So, yeah, we did. So, here we are. We're going to level up, and that's kind of what we do here on the channel. Um... So we've got Magicka, Health, and Stamina. Um, I think we're going to do... We're just going to do... We're just going to do Health for now. It's going to give us plus 20, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and commit that, and then we're also going to bounce over to our setting here. And let's see, so Strife deals 23 magic damage and heals a player for 30% of the damage infect inflicted. Two seconds for every 10 seconds, okay? So it's kind of like a leech. Shadow Cloak gives a player invisibility for 2.5 seconds. Deals 17 damage. Assassin's Blade. I think we're going to go with the bow. And I think we get Poison Arrow. We're going to level up our bow. So we've unlocked that. Okay, so now if we press the 1 key, we can use that ability once our bow's out. Oh, it's wanting us to sneak. Okay, so we're going to sneak around. We are hidden right now. we got a flame matronach up there in the distance. And we are going to see if we can get him. Okay, I think we missed and somebody else actually came up and attacked him. Missed again. I don't know what, uh, see, I would assume that those would have been hits, but maybe we were hitting that stone. Okay, we got that. Oh, we got a feral shriven here. Oh! That was a little gnarly. 
Okay, so we're going to actually go up here along this path and activate our poison arrow. Okay, so our po we hit him with the poison arrow right there. And when Atronachs die, they're actually going to explode, which is cool because it's very much like the other Elder Scrolls games. So the deal with these Shriven essentially is the longer they stay in the Plane of Oblivion, the, the madder they get and the uh, the more feral they get. And they get to a certain point where you just can't do anything um, any longer. And they just essentially attack you on side. So that's why they're... Um, you normally you'd think they'd be allies, but they've just gone mad to the point where you've got to basically put them out of their misery. Okay, let's see if we can get a sneak attack. Uh-oh. Alright, so this is the eye of the guy who's watching this place. So essentially we're going to make it so he can't spy on us and then go and try to find the prophet. Oh, I saw a chest in the background somewhere. Here it is. Ooh, forgotten homespun shoes and a lockpick. Equip those boots. Alright, so we are gonna jump off of this thing. And we are looking for the prophet's chamber. And he's actually gonna be back here just a ways. Ooh, one shot. Sneak attack. Nice. I need to know the range of these arrows, because I feel like I should be hitting them. Okay, that definitely hit. That hit. Oh, I saw that one hit the water right there. Maybe you got to arc it up a little bit more. Oh, he's going to get killed. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so the prophet cell, I believe, is right here. Um, I don't think you have to worry about arrows in this game, which... I'm hoping they change. I, th I, I mean, a lot of people don't like that, but I do. Having to worry about different arrows. Let me see. Do I have an arrow count? No. I don't have any sort of quiver or anything like that. Okay, so now we're going to go talk to a guy named Caldwell. Or Cadwell, and he is a... Um, kind of the leader of the Shriven. And he's actually a really funny character once you talk to him. Um, he reminds me of Baron Munchausen, if you guys know who that is, but he's going to tell us the way to the Prophet's Chamber is actually back through here, through this thing called the Undercroft. And the Undercroft is going to um, be a way for us to get kind of a back door into there. Now, I will give you a warning. If you don't want any spoilers, um, this next part is, um, I would assume, overall, a very, very minor spoiler in this game. Um... But it is still a spoiler nonetheless. Oh, actually, you know what? We've got one more piece of the dungeon to go through before. You can actually call it a spoiler, I think. Um, here we go. I'm just going to kind of run through here. Now, there are a bunch of traps here, which is cool to see. And we've got to make it through. And all around here, there's going to be little chests and stuff for you to explore. And there'll be bad guys to fight, which is cool. Um... We don't get credit for that kill or anything. But we do have a crate we can search. Some grates. There's an urn over there. Which is cool. Um, this game really makes you feel 
Oh, that's awesome. We got a recipe. Increased stamina and recovery, too. This is a provisioning recipe. So this is a cooking recipe. Aged meat and corn mash. Nice. Um, it really makes you feel like you're playing an Elder Scrolls game when you're just going through and looting everything. Uh, looks like they left the lockpicks there. Natural water. Okay. And we want to make sure we're going south. That's not the way. Okay, we're going to keep going this way. We're going to work our way south. Oh, that was a shipping. Ooh, we got tagged by those, that trap right there. That's not good. And again we did. So I would assume we were running fast enough we could make it through that, but all right. And we should be going this way now. Here it is. So here's the end of this little dungeon. Grab all this stuff that we can. Another little recipe, nice. I didn't get anything through my first time through here. Okay, yeah, I probably... <laughs> I understand the urgency in your voice, Lyris, but there are urns to be looted. Okay, here we go. So, here's the spoiler right here, guys. If you don't want to watch this, you probably want to skip the rest of this video. Um, actually, there's a pretty cool boss fight coming up, but... Um, spoiler alert, there it is. Um, Lyris is actually going to sacrifice herself so that the Prophet can escape, which is both sad, um, but at the end of the day, kind of meaningless, because we really haven't known her long enough for it to make any sort of sense of why we should care about this blonde-haired Nord, um, and her sacrifice, other than it's cool because we're allowed to get out because of that. Um, so, little magic scene here, Prophet's gonna come in. And again, skipping this dialogue, and we are going to go to the anchor mooring so that way we can fight the boss and then get the heck out of oblivion. But of course, on the way, we've got plenty of urns to look in. Lots of meal. Okay, here we go. This is a, this is a place that's just gnarly. All the ruins, the way everything's written on the wall. Man, that's so cool. Bigger and just one thing of water in there. Man, I really wish um, they would have put, like, hell, or rather food and water requirements in this game. I don't think a, not, a lot of games don't do that. And I really, man, to me, it's so awesome when they do. Okay. Did we do this, Prophet? Oh. I wasn't. Star Metal. Alright, so we got a boss here to fight. And we're gonna hit him with a poison arrow. And this is, guys, pretty easy. You can dodge most of his attacks. You see him coming. Those you can't really dodge. That one you can get out of the way of, though. And our poison arrow should actually take him out. I wonder if it can. We hit him with a poison arrow. Oh. We'll do one more. There it is. That actually looks like it killed him, not on dot damage, but on just normal damage. The dark anchor's a shot of ethereal magic. Okay, so we gotta activate this shard over here. And by that I mean loot the urns! <laughs> um, here it is. 
Oh, I guess first I gotta talk to him. So these shards are actually gonna be hidden throughout the world, and these are... Um, it's interesting, because you can actually get, for every three of them you get, you get a skill point. Which is awesome. Um, and there'll be hints in your journals as you play the game of where they are. Um, it's very cool. I like that they, how they added something like that in the game. Okay. And we are going to now go up here. So the prophet's issuing a, pair, uh, a prayer right now, um, and he's going to get us the heck out of here. Okay, before we do that, we're going to fire an arrow. <laughs> here we go. All right, so that is the first dungeon um, in this game. And um, in our next video, we're going to kind of explore this first little town, which is actually going to be completely new to me. Um, I haven't quite gotten there yet. And um, this is where I left off with my other character as well, my orc uh, fighter. Um, so I'm pretty excited to be doing this one. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining, maybe even a little educational. I uh, hope you subscribe to the channel if you liked it, and as always, please game on.